Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be trying, testing and reviewing the brand new, not even just a brand new product, this is a whole brand new company by Jamie Genevieve herself. The company is called Vive. A little sneak peek of what we're going to be using. We got the eyeshadow palette and we also got uh, one of the lipsticks from the range. All I'm going to say is... Can you guess what, what's on my cheek right now? What 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 highlight? How I use that? Where I use it from? Because I was surprised and I was shocked when I tried it out. But we are supporting and we're repping our Scottish girl, Jamie Genevieve. I mean, I'm from Edinburgh. She's from Glasgow. So we got to rep our Scots. We got to rep our Scottish girls. Before we do get into this video, be sure to follow my Instagram, Beauty with Rian. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more content like this and leave a like on the video. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Now let's get straight into it. Do you know the main thing I think I love about this palette? It literally, I don't know if it is leather, but it feels like leather. Like, it just feels so premium. And this is a 10 pan eyeshadow palette. But again, oh my god. I love how it just folds all the way back. Oh my gosh. Yes means I can hold it like this. Perfect. But even though this is a, a 10 pan eyeshadow palette, I love how each shade, like I love how the pans are so big compared to like any other palette. They're literally tiny little, for example, I'm literally just picking up the closest palette that's beside me right now. Look at the pans on that. And on this, the sides, like, at first I was like, wait, did I buy, like, a blusher contour set? Like, what? But of course, then I realised, but I actually love, I love the sizes. Like, I love how they're, like, so big. Like, I've never saw someone do eyeshadow pans this big, so I'm quite liking it. Now, I think the main thing that I love about this palette is I feel like the shades are so versatile for every skin tone like you've got your yellow your orange you've got a nice deep brown here you've got black you've got your gold your bronze your light gold your very very light beige kind of tones and this browny sort of grey tone up here as well so I'm going to start with the shade Cozy which is this lovely orangey tones here. And I've already prepped my eyes just with a little bit of concealer, the Huda Beauty concealer, and a little bit of powder. Now, quite a lot is coming on my brush there. Whoa. Let's see this pigment. Did you see that pigment? Do you see that pigment? How? That pigment and the way that blended out so nice and so smoothly. Okay, but I love how it's looking. Oh my gosh. It's so nice and bright as well. You know that? Guys, it looks so pretty. It's blending out so, so smooth. It's so, so nicely. I'm now going to go in with... I'm going to go in with Delicious, which is this nice deep brown shade here. That's a really nice brown. It's not as deep as I would have liked it, but it is a really nice, a, it's a really nice tone, you know that, it's really nice. I am loving this, you know. Look how nice and like, how nicely it's blending together. It just looks so pretty. I am tempted to deepen it up a little bit. So I'm thinking I might go in with this black shade, which is Good Night. Just a little bit. Oh, it's such a rich black. Oh wow. You know sometimes like you get black shades that are like more blue or more grey. This is such a rich black. Oh wow. Oh wow. Um. Um. 
wasn't quite ready for that. I feel like because I just put like a touch on and I blended it out, um, I feel like it's gonna. I feel like I could pack this on and it could look really, really, really black, or I put it on slightly and blended it in with the brown, and it kind of looks like a darker brown rather than. I mean, you can obviously you can still see it's black, but I feel like it looks more deep brown, deep, deep, deep brown than pitch black. The next time I'm using this palette, I am definitely going with a smoky black eye with some gold because I love, I'm living for this black shade right now. It is so pretty. To go in with glimmer or carrot. Let's go in with carrot. I feel like I want to leave glimmer and I'm going to try that as a highlighter because the highlighter I did see that I wanted to get was actually sold out. So I just left the highlighter because there was other like two other darker shades which I wasn't feeling as much. So I'm going to try this lighter shade as a highlighter and see how that looks. Alright, I can't actually wait to see how pigmented this is. Okay, we know the mattes are pigmented. We know they're so nice and blendable. Let's see this shimmer. I don't think I put enough on my brush at the start. I'm going to use my finger. Okay. That's better. That's a lot better. I don't know why, I just wasn't picking up quite so well on my brush but I've just dabbed it on my finger and it looks really pretty. I think that is such a pretty gold. It's darker than I would usually wear so I feel like the dark dark shade I wouldn't really get much use out of it but I would say the pigments there, I quite like it you know. I feel like it did take a little bit of time to build it up to where it is. Um, but I don't know if that was just because I was using a brush, it seemed to pick up a lot better um, on my finger, but I am quite liking it. I'm going to quickly go away and do my face and come back, um, and then we'll speak a little bit more about the palette as well. Okay, so I've done my full face makeup now as well. Now, the shades that I use on top, I also just used on my lower lash line as well, so I just kind of smoked it out. I feel like it completes the look. The more I look at it, the more I'm like, I'm loving this look. At first, I wasn't too sure about the shimmer, but I don't know. I feel like there's something about the shimmer that's just so, like, oh. just look at it. Just look at it. Okay. Shimmer. Okay. I think the best way to put the shimmer on is definitely with your finger rather than with a brush. It maybe would have worked better if... I wet the brush first and then use it like that but I feel like the finger worked good for me so it came out really nicely. I'm actually really loving this look. Now we still have the lipstick to try and also I want to use the glimmer shimmer the glimmer shimmer in the palette as a highlighter as well. I'm just going to spray some dewy set by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I hate, 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 hate doing highlighter with finger. So I'm gonna try and dip it in to this glimmer shade. Oh, wow. You guys. Okay, I feel like I would have preferred that a lot more on my eyes, but as a highlighter. Oh my gosh! That, 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 that is beautiful. The highlighter that I did want to get from the collection, it was very similar to this glitter shade, glimmer shade. So, oh wow.
Okay, so now we are going to go in with the Jamie. I keep saying Jamie, bleh, Jamie Genevieve, but her makeup brand is called Vive. So we're going to go in with the Vive. Look at this packaging. Again, it just feels so premium and like high quality. Like, I don't think this is leather because obviously it, but it's the leather effect that is doing it for me. I feel like I'm holding a leather lip, lip, sh lip, <laughs> a leather lipstick and I don't know, I just feel like the design is so different and it's just so beautiful. I, I absolutely love it. And at the top, we've got the initial for Vive. Again, absolutely love it. This is the shade 90s. Now, I wasn't quite sure what shades to go for because, oh my god, this is beautiful. Oh wow, okay. Look at that shade. I don't know if you guys can see it, but on the lipstick it says Vive Look. Can you guys see how it says Vive there? Look! It's little touches like that that I just absolutely love. But this is the shade 90s. I think there was four shades, three shades? Four shades. I want to say four shades, I think, I'm not sure. But there was like a peachy one, a peachy brown, there was this one which was more brown I believe, brown nude, um, and I think there was another one as well, I can't remember, but I went for this one because I thought it would best suit my skin tone, so we're going to go in and try it. I feel like that comes off a lot more pinky nude than it does the brown nude. What do you guys think? Mm. Hmm. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of Huda Beauty Spice Girl lip liner just to get some definition back because I feel like my skin tone like I feel like I just don't really like shades that are too pink and if it is too pinky nude then I always have to like go with a darker lip liner and then sort of just buff it in. Okay now already I feel like that looks a lot better, obviously I still need to blend it. I feel like it's more of a nice like ombre rather than just like the peach. Do you guys see what I mean? Look how much nicer that looks now. Like I feel like I can work with that now. Before I felt like mm, too pink for me. Now the ombre I can work with. So I feel like it's complete. Like I said I feel like the mattes, the matte shades worked absolutely perfect. The pigment was there, blended so nicely. I absolutely loved it. The shimmers, I felt like it didn't work on the brush, but we kind of worked around that and used our finger. And as you can see, the shimmer, it looks beautiful on. I absolutely love it too. The shade that I got in the lipstick, which was nine, 90s, was a little bit too pink for me, but with just adding a, a darker lip liner, it created the perfect ombre lip, which I absolutely love. And of course, we cannot forget about the glimmer using it as highlighter. That worked perfectly. I am definitely going to be using that as a highlighter from now on because it just looks beautiful. I absolutely love it. Let me know what you guys thought of the look I created today. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I will see you on my next video.